Dude. So, nice. so today, we're doing a keyboard that I've had forever. I was gonna do uh, the array today, but honestly, we've had this for way too long. So uh, I wanna do this one here. We're gonna get this one here done. This is the tree. I mean, is there more than one trio from Percent Studios? Is there more? There's a slight color change with this lens. Yeah, a little bit. That's okay. I'm honestly just gonna fool around with it later. I'm not like too concerned right now. I really like the backings of the Percent Studios, like the backplate over here. I really think this looks like extremely good, truthfully. Like it does. I really like just how like it's, it's kind of ribbed, I guess. Booty, I believe the scientific term is booty. It's kind of nice. I really do like it. There's a lot of accessories in this box too, which we'll take a look at. But first let's open this guy here. The trio is 65 indeed. Rib for Alex's pleasure. I was literally waiting for that. We do have gasket socks for this. I think these are for alignment. And then here's our feet. I like the fact that there's gasket socks. I do. I think that's awesome. Let's actually take a look at how this keyboard is designed. I want to see the side profile. So you get the feet there. Let's actually take away this. Okay. This is actually pretty nice. It's a pretty interesting side profile, I'd say. Yeah, I like this kind of like back where it's kind of has a divot in the middle. I also really like this uh, curve on the weight too. Yeah, I like it. Loving the, I love this too. I love how the Percent Studios like uh, keyboards have this. I don't know why, it just feels good. I will say though, there's absolutely nothing that's like standout features. It does look like it has like an indicator LED on the top. I already see lots of flex cuts. I love the color of this. Dislike the flex cuts. But yeah, the color is nice. Very pretty color. I love this. Damn, I actually really like this. This would be really nice on the keyboard. Never mind. That's okay. We'll put foam in this. I, I again, a personal choice is I don't really love the sound of flex cuts. I find it's very, very hollow. And we have our plates. Actually, do you guys want PE foam? I'll let you guys decide. I mean, we can use whatever we want on this. It's up to you guys. Seems like most people are saying nope. We can use all the rest of the foam though. My thoughts on PBT fans? They're really good. Like honestly, I've had zero issues with my PBT fans keycaps. Absolutely no issues. Sonnet still up there? Yeah, Sonnet's great, man. I love my Sonnet. Did we get all the pins here before I put the solder into the side? Got soldering job, baby. Look at that. Uh, that color looks so much better than in the renders. It is super nice. I don't know if it's showing up. Uh, I don't know if it's showing up 100% properly on my stream. Actually, no, it looks like it's showing up okay. It's a, a very, very, very nice, very nice red. Quality of the board looks awesome on this, by the way. Do, do these little ones go here? They do, son? Okay. Let's start adhering some gas. There we go. Uh, stick the gasket strips in the case, then put the gasket foam or gasket socket on the plate. Makes more sense. Percent uh, boards are very flexy. Hopefully this sounds good then. Does the thick silicone part go on the bottom, I assume? Or the top? I think the top, right? If it has these. The foam is in wrong? Is it the wrong way? Oh, it doesn't even matter. This cable's not long enough for it to matter at all. I think, uh, I think they sent me a shorter cable, but as you can tell, it doesn't even matter. Oh wait, which way are we putting, should be the same as the gasket on the Luna? So the thicker part on the bottom? Okay. Feels like a lot of padding for the bottom here. 
This is not a sponsored stream, no. They sent this to me, said do what you want with it. I am most likely just gonna give it away to you guys. I don't do a whole lot of sponsored streams, by the way, guys. It's uh, very few and far between. A lot of stuff we end up with from clients. Or I just, oh, is there one missing? Or the stuff that does get sent is usually just sent right back. Thicker on top though. Okay, let me actually adjust the, let's adjust these. Let's flip them all over. It kind of makes sense with the thicker on top anyways, because there's so much padding on the bottom as is. I was worried it was just gonna be too bouncy. What's the top keyboard? That is the Mode Sonnet. Okay. It is keycap time. All right, so let's open this thing up. We'll use some nice keycaps from Osumi. I think this set is gonna look good. My girlfriend picked it all. <gasps> Did I forget the diffuser? Ah, whatever. I'll put that in later. I had enough trouble closing the PCB. It's actually such a cool box. Look at this. Little smiley face. Okay. Such a pretty box. Comes with this. Tells you about the colors and stuff like that. Little business card thingy. Stickers. Let's get to our QWERTY. The trays are a little bit kind of confusing, I suppose, but I think they go by rows from what I understand. Very, very blue. Can you see that? Does that make it a little easier to see every throw? Nothing against you every throw, I'm just stating that this isn't. But it's very, very blue. Okay, this is the special edition novelty, so I wanna see what the hell's in here. I don't remember any of this stuff. Ooh, very cute. What's the other one then? Standard novelty? Very, very cute. I love the space bars. I just wish there was one for 7U. That is my, my only wish. Do you need a knife? I have a knife. I'm just too lazy to get it. A lot of plastic on the side of my desk, but it's okay. I'll show you guys here in a second. Hold on. I'll come and grab it. So these are these novelties. Very, very cute. Very pretty. And then we have, actually, I like these ones here. I might use this for the enter. Maybe we'll use this too. And we'll use this one here. Cute. I like it. This looks beautiful. This is perfect. Ooh, very marbly sounding, even though we did not use PE foam. All right. I didn't put the, uh, I forgot to put the, uh, what's it called in here. So you might see the LEDs. No diffuser, unfortunately. I forgot to put it in. My bad, guys. So here is the built by NIM switches inside of the um, Percent Studio Trio 65 with Osumi keycaps on top with every foam except for PE foam. The light it blinds, I know, my mistake. I forgot to put it in. I'll put it in after I'm done stream. So let us see what this sounds like. Actually, this is a pretty good looking keyboard overall, I'd say. Like I, I'm actually pretty overall happy with the way this looks. Before we jump, I guess, too far into the sound test here. It looks pretty nice. It has a nice wedge with like a heel here at the bottom. I kind of like that. I'm vibing with it. I love the bottom of the case too. Uh, how does it feel? It's very soft from like the two keys that I pressed. 
It's extremely soft, I'd say, actually. All right, let's see what this sounds like. Let me see. I don't know if it's the uh, the PBT space bar, but uh, the space bar, it, it has like a little high pitchness to it. I don't mind with this, it kind of complements this as well. I have a feeling this would be extremely, extremely, extremely hollow if it did not have the foam. It's a million times better with the GMK. Overall, not bad. I like the feeling of the keyboard. It's actually quite soft, but it's not like overly soft like some of the other boards that I've tried where I'm just like, ah, oh, this is too soft. I don't love, love the bottom row. I think the bottom row still has a, a bit of a metallic-y sound that's not like fully weeded out, I guess. It was a little better with the ABS spacebar for sure. I don't mind this. Again, not in love with the bottom row. It could just be like the mounting points on it. it sounds like it's just a little bit space is resonating some sound weird inside there. It also could be that this keyboard I believe the weight is focused more on the back over here and it kind of feeds in just a little bit. So that's probably why we have the top part of the keyboard. That sounds pretty solid. And then the bottom sounds opposite of that. This is the, usually the issue with weights that are put on the back of a keyboard like this or the very, very one-sided. The board's nice, like I think the board feels great. I think in terms of like softer boards that I've tried, it's it's super comfortable to type on. I don't love the bottom row, but I think I know what that's from. But it does look really good, like it is definitely a looker of a keyboard, I will say that. Love, love, love this kind of bar on the back weight here. It's cool looking, I like it, it looks nice. But I do like the way it looks. This has this nice LED badge on the bottom too. See you guys soon. I'll post the schedule later today too. Uh, I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys 